Hello, this is Angel from Hybrox Systems again and now I would like to show you our uh, kit HSL 2000 This is the dry cell that you see here which is a compact dry cell 10 centimeters or 4 inches by 10 centimeters or 4 inches and 10 centimeters by 4 inches with the connectors and the bolts as well. We left these bolts like that so you can use our holders to install it in your vehicle. This is a double cell which is with two negative and one positive in the middle and there is four neutral plates in between these active plates. It's a very compact device, as you can see, but before you proceed with order or installation, it's better to measure if you have enough space for this dry cell, even if it's very compact. Again, we're using uh, pushing fittings with 360 degrees availability for moving, so you can turn it each way you need it, like this or like this. This is the front connector for the hose and the back side, which is filling out the dry cell with um, electrolyte. And here is coming uh, produced gas back to the reservoir. So very, very compact dry cell. It's called HSL 2000. L stands for the low cost. It's not like HS uh, Pro series. This is HSL series. One of them, we have three different generators for HSL series. We're using this uh, dry cell for uh, engine between 2.5 and 2.5 liter engine. Uh, next element, this is the reservoir. Again, you can see we are installing all of these uh, push-in fittings on the reservoir. It's very easy to connect it, the hoses, connect the hoses. Next element is uh, a bubbler. You've seen that bubbler already. This is the three key elements in the system. Uh, I will explain in the next video about the bubbler. So how does it work and why we are using this uh, hose which is coming out from the bottom of the bubbler. Next item, this is the hose. We are using Polyomy 12 hose. Reliable all automobile manufacturers using such hoses in the vehicles for different purposes and needs. Another thing included in this kit HSL 2000 this is the wires, 6 square millimeter section for the negative and positive. We have another four different colors of wires for the PWM and for the LED indicator in the system. You will need all of this during the installation. So you can connect the system easily. This is the LED indicator which is supposed to be installed near the dashboard of your vehicle so you can see if the system is operational or not. If it's lighting up means that the system is working, if it does not means that it's not working and you have to refill the reservoir with electrolyte. I will leave it here. Another important thing, this is the T connector push in again for the holes. Uh, this is the drain valve, so if you need to drain the system, you can do it easily. I will leave it here. All of these uh, elements, they are compatible to each other, so you can connect it very easy. This is the next element, which is the inlet uh, gas connector. Again, it's a push-in fitting, so you can just drill 8 mm hole in the air filter box or after the mass airflow sensor in the in the air hose and just plug it we will show you in the next videos when we have installations on the vehicles real installations we will show that another thing which is important for all of this uh, for the installation this is the connectors and insulators for wires all of them they are included in the kit of course uh, another element of the basic kit, this is the fuse. We are using again 30 amp automatic fuse. So it's better to be connected this one because this is 
security in any way. Any device, electrical device, must have fuse. This is obligatory for all of the systems. I'll leave it here. This is what's included in the basic kit. Uh, if you need to control your system properly, you better use uh, constant current PWM, this one which uh, you can just pin the, the knob here to turn it on and you can regulate it. You re regulate the amps and the load, production of gas as well, which is quite related to each other. Or you can use our latest development dynamic PWM, which is absolutely automatic uh, device and you don't have to regulate anything because it's taking uh, signals and uh, information from the vehicle and from different parameters of the system as well and it's regulating the operation of the system absolutely automatic so you don't have to touch anything else after the installation of this device but you can choose which one to use you can buy only basic kit if you want or you can add uh, to your order any of these devices it depends on your choice. I would recommend you to use dynamic PWM made by us because this is absolutely automatic device and it will be much easier to control your system properly then. Uh, I forgot to show you also, we included these uh, holders for the dry cell. Make sure you use them because there is vibration in any vehicle during driving. So uh, dry cell, uh, bubbler, reservoir, they must be installed very, very well to the chassis of the vehicle so they won't fall down or untouch from the vehicle or anything like that. Just make sure everything is installed well and all of the wires are secured. And this is the kit HSL 2000. For further questions, you can comment below this video or you can send us an email if you have some specific questions and I promise that we will try to reply as soon as possible to you. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, you can click the button like, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, click also the bell on the YouTube channel. So for the further videos, you will be informed in advance that we uploaded some new information about our HHO equipment. Thanks for watching and have a good day.